This is the Citroen Ami, a 100% electrically powered vehicle designed to be accessible for all. Two seats, comfortable, compact and agile with a rather charming character and personality. 0 to 62 miles an hour in, well, never, as the top speed's only 28 miles an hour. And with a range of 44 miles, is this funky little city car the future for our urban streets? To find out more, I took Tiff for a spin around town. Welcome, Monsieur Didel, to the future. Bon, je ne parle pas français, magnifique, parce que c'est un très très petit automobile. Pensez-vous que c'est le futur? Oui, oui. What a car. You don't speak French, do you? You no. don't speak French at all. You just made all that up. I speak German. But this is a French car. What, what a, a brilliant car. This is the future. This this has to be how driving will become in the in the very near future. So, only available in France at the moment legally for 14 year old and upwards. 14 years of age. But my son, Oliver, who you know, 10 years old, he drove this. It's just nothing to it. He's got good awareness. There's nothing to it, really. And everybody you pass, it puts a massive smile on their face. I think it's important to let people know if they don't know already anything about this car is that it's got a maximum speed of 28 miles an hour. Cool, then nail it. What's the acceleration? Floor it! That is, that is Floor cool. it! Come on! That's it! <laughs> <laughs> That's what Oliver says all the time. Dad, put your foot down. Is it Oliver? It is. My foot is down. So it's quite interesting, but it's, it is what it is. It could, it could do with being a tiny little bit more powerful, I'll be honest with you. I think the only thing, if you want to be critical about this car, it's hard to be critical about, is it just, I wish it just was oh, a no. tiny bit more powerful. I know these windows Very are French. Foolish. Very French. That's oh. like a de chevaux, isn't it? That sort of window. It really is. It's what it's like looking out of a goldfish bowl as well, isn't it? This is it now, we're hitting a hill. This is going to be where we strike. <laughs> what sort of range? Any idea what range it's got? That's it, I'm flat out. Fully charged about 75 kilometres, so. Oh, what mile? Yeah, not 40, going. 45, 48 miles. Can you so. imagine going to school when you're 14 years old in one of you and you, can you take your mates, do you think? You're allowed to take kids with you. Sorry, my 14 year old didn't want to go with this because she's a bit. Well, typical teenager, but my 10 year old absolutely loved it. He thought it was the. They left kids on the floor, yeah. filling up and lying on the floor underneath. But what I think what's going to happen if they're not doing it already, they're going to do like car sharing with these. So you imagine that, Tiff. You imagine yeah. just popping into a city instead of getting on one of the Boris bikes in London. You can't currently order an Ami in the UK, though in France you can get it with several a la carte offers adapted to suit most people's needs, including car sharing from just 20 euros per month. I've got an ashtray, you're not allowed to smoke in these, though. What's that orange that, thing? That's not an ashtray, that's your for hanging your shopping. Ah, a curry bag, the curry bag. I've used it as well. We can send our 14 year old kids out to pick up the curry <laughs> takeaway. This is oh, brilliant. They're going to be out cruising with their mates, they're not going to want to pick up your curry. There's no way. So, what does Citroen say about the possibilities of this coming to England? I mean, is it no chance at all, or what do they reckon? I think it will. I think I've sold about three or four already. People stopping me <laughs> yeah, saying, legally, legally. It available. It's going to have to go through 10 houses of parliament before it'll get to England, surely. And that uh, NCAP uh, crash I mean, testing has it, got, well. has it got an NCAP rating? I don't want to meet a big bus coming the other way. Uh, I, I drove it from one town to another town about five miles. Um, and it was a bit hair-raising because <laughs> I know what a farmer feels like with a tractor now, although the tractor's much bigger, this is a tiny little thing. But it is a proper feel-good car, isn't it? It's a bit, bit tight though, a bit Yeah, tight. yeah, get your elbows out. And, and I think we should probably point out that we have both had the PCR test today and we're both yes. negative, which yes. is very good. You've had the new way to film. We saw Top Gear were doing it, so we thought we might find out what they did and they take PCR tests. So we did the same. What does PCR stand for anyway? It's quite a tricky acronym which basically means I've got no idea. But it wasn't a simple one. It wasn't like three well-known names or words. It was, uh, okay. oh, how good is this? Cruising. How, how long would it take to go down the south of France? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine your runaway kid, you know, doing a run in the middle of the night, nicking out onto the streets. What's it called? The, the Ami. The Am Ami. Of course. You could, you could catch your children up if they drove off in this at least. That's one, one good thing about it. Like, like, you could be my ami. Et les deux amis dans une ami. Do you get that in English? The two friends in a like, friend. It doesn't like hills. Is that it? Flat? That's flat. 
No! As hard as you could possibly well, where's go. where's our charge? Have we got enough charge it's left? We've got loads of charge. We've got loads of charge. It is a city car. That's the thing. It hasn't got self-cancelling indicators. The uh, <laughs> suspension's a bit fur, but the ride quality, as a proper automobile tester, and you a Rolls-Royce specialist yourself, Paul, I'm, I'm finding the ride quality slightly on the harsh side. I've got to do a left for braking now. Harsh is fantastic. Don't worry about those fillings. <laughs> Oh, we got downhill now. What's the most we can do downhill? Let's have a little, little bit. Oh, we're flat. 47, got, 47 kilometers 40, an hour. Has he got restricted? 48. Has he got a restricted, you think? 49. 49. Are you still flat? <laughs> we've got to get 50. 50. Yeah. Citroen have been showing us their boldness and creativity for over a hundred years. And it's fair to say, this could be one of the boldest and most creative of the whole lot. Bravo, Citroen. Or rather, bon garçon according to Google Translate. What a brilliant little car.